It's a shame about the older lad. He was but a child. Sounds like he went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Ever truly happy. Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like.
large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. You have taught me much, Kalil. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Because we are friends. Some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. It appears we have some free time on our hands. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ta. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? The diary again? Yeah. Lately I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. The world of the recycled vessel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Seems we have been shut in.
My word. Something wrong? I feel as if I've just awoken from a most unpleasant dream. I know what you mean. That happens to me whenever I read it. Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Thank you so much! And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library? Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good.
Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? There you are. What are you doing here, kid? And who are you, anyway? Were you a passenger on this ship, maybe? Hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. That couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. How you feeling? Um. Well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. 
Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Bison. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Mm -hmm. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off, too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about.
Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? Well then, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there. But you're actually pretty good. Huh. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. Hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, Sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. Shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might. Kaine! Emil! What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside.
So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how. Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Wait, is this... blood? Oh dear, are you... Oh, baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? <sighs> Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. You sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case! Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Outside light is in short supply. I ask you, how are we to do any searching if we cannot see a blasted thing? Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness! I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Ah, oh, goodness. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Oh, oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us.
This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance? Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? The white handprints on the wall lead in the direction of this door. That's weird. How is it locked if the girl just used it? Unless she's actually... I demand you cease your interminable chatter about ghosts at once. The simplest explanation is that she locked the door from the other side. I didn't even say anything yet. In any case, if we want to use the door, we'll have to find a key. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on. I think I can move these. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow. This thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see... <sighs> by my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. A hidden room. How delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. 
Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes, this pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Looks like somebody's journal. Here, let me see. Hmm. It says the ship was attacked by some kind of monster. Seems like the person who wrote this holed up in here, while the monster roamed around the ship, killing everyone. Do you think that actually happened? I cannot say. Though the term monster might well be referring to a shade. A kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite... Particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Hmm? Is that... Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes.
there, you two. Hey, I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <sighs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. <laughs> oh man, that smell is getting ripe! How you feeling there, sunshine? Not great. Can't you tell? This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. You can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up! Huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? <gasps> oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? S sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... <laughs> Kaine! Emil! We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here! The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that, thanks. Let's go. Shades! Damn, they're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there.
glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. What on earth? is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once. Oh, listen, it's singing. This thing actually thinks it's a person. <laughs> on the with all that you have. <laughs> Did we get it? Things huge. The 
think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. Is this thing turning its body into spears and shooting them at us? Sit around a campfire and sing songs until we get murdered. God damn it! Flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues. Hey, over here! This guy's important to you, isn't he? Immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! doing you're gonna get yourself killed stop don't hurt these people so you've been lying to me this whole time Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head.
We can never be together. You disgust me. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already! Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh god, this can't be happening! <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. The hell's this, Sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade-A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? I 
I think our friend's gonna wake up soon. Let's go. Hey, Kane. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. baby brother was killed by a shade. Damn fool wasn't careful. And now he's left his beautiful wife all alone. Shades on the coast? The ferryman dead? You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Oh, well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. Thanks. I'll do that. Oh, one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. this old book good to see a boy become a man? Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to Facade. 